Hey, what's going on, guys? It's your favorite YouTuber, Ace the Gamer here, bringing you the very first video of Battlefield Hardline multiplayer gameplay. This is pretty much my very first gameplay. I know the game came out, you know, not too long ago. It's the most recent, you know, up to date Battlefield game. And I've heard not really good reviews about the game, but, you know, I had to give it a chance. I had to pick up the game. So I went over to my local GameStop today. Uh, I got a pretty good deal on it. I'm pretty, uh, kind of bummed out. I didn't get the exclusives, you know, all that, uh, premium and all the extra maps, extra weapon, extra gold. Uh, battle packs you get once you buy the game, but you know, I just got the standard version of it. Uh, nothing much with it, and luckily, um, I got some free uh, battle packs uh, here in my this this game. When I first got it, I got free battle packs. So stay tuned for my next video. It's probably gonna be on battle packs and openings. I got pretty good reviews on that on um, Battlefield 4, so I was like, might as well, you know, record some in Battlefield Hardline. And right here, I just kind of, you know, took a pause real quick, trying to, you know, get used to the controls, and I wanted to just switch it up to my uh, different controls. I like using the uh, right uh, stick for crouching and B for knifing, so I kind of got used to that in a way of Call of Duty playstyle, but overall guys, if you enjoy this type of video, please make sure to smack the like button. This is pretty much a new series I'm going to do here. And also, um, Stay tuned for more Battlefield Hardline content. I'm pretty sure I'm, I'm going to do some of that uh, weapons origins, you know, weapons guide throughout this whole entire game. I'm pretty much going to go through all the weapons in this game and stay tuned for that, guys. And I want to know what you guys think about this game. It's not that bad, actually. Here, I got a few guys a uh, team deathmatch gameplay here on Durrell. This is pretty much, you know, a very open map. There's not that much cover around here in the entire map, only during the center of the map. It's all these little, you know, random containers, random buildings, and random hiding spots near uh, trash cans. It's pretty much like a dump site right here. It's not really, you know, on a conquest mode, so you don't really get expanded maps and all that cool stuff in conquest. But, uh, other than that, I'm enjoying the game. I mean, this <laughs> it's a nice game here. And I'm kind of like a rookie here. At the very first of the game here, the first half of this game, it's kind of like... I'm not using the controls at all. Like, I, I don't really know what to do right now. I'm using the RO, uh, something, the Row 533, something like that. It's an assault rifle. It's a default class. You get right when you know you ran through the game and all that cool stuff. And I want to know how many Battlefield Hardline fans are out there. If you're a fan of Battlefield Hardline, please let me know in the comment section below. Let me know what kind of tips I should use, uh, how to become better, and what kind of strategies do you use so I could kind of, you know, improvise that in this type of gameplay because I'm still new to this. It doesn't really feel like, uh, it doesn't feel like Battlefield 4 at all. It kind of feels a little bit different. It kind of reminds me of Battlefield 3 in some sort of way. Uh, I know it's kind of different because it's like it's cops and robbers, only two factions in this game. So it's not like, you know, multiple factions from like different countries from Battlefield 4. So you, have, you have like China, you have Russia, you have United States and other type of, uh, foreign nationals and and this game here is this you know they're all americans and it's not bad cops and robbers it's not bad is this i kind of feel a little bit iffy about this game because i kind of miss you know the militaristic kind of you know play styles and the factions and all that you know it's kind of different for me it's not as bad as i think it was because the game when i first got it when i first played the beta version of this game i didn't really enjoy it that much just this something didn't click with the game just Something was missing. I don't know what it was, but luckily I got the full gameplay here. And man, all I gotta say is the game feels feels okay. It's not as bad, like I said. You know, never judge a game by its uh, beta. Never judge it by a beta at all, because beta is this. It's pretty much a demo. The game wasn't fully, you know, redone. It was just an alpha beta, which means this nothing's been changed yet. Weapons have not been changed. And also, as I take out this guy right here, this is where I kind of start going off in a little bit. This is where the gameplay kind of gets a little bit better. But like I was saying, I judge the game by the beta. Until this day, I was like, I'm never getting Battlefield Hardline because the beta was just so horrible. I was like, I'm never picking up this game. But I decided to give it a chance. And like always, always give a full game a chance before you judge it. Don't make the mistakes I made. Just play the game when it first comes out and all that. And that's pretty much what I gotta say there before the videos I can start rambling it off other, you know, random topics. But 
this assault rifle here I'm using is interesting. It kind of reminds me of a, uh, I don't know what weapon it is. Kind of reminds me of the M16. A M16A3, the fully automatic version in Battlefield 4 and Battlefield 3. I don't know, I guess it feels all right because this, I don't know. I don't know what to say here, guys, but the game's just, we have about two more minutes into the game. If you enjoyed, please make sure to smack that like button. Stay tuned for more Battlefield Hardline content coming on my channel. Like always, guys, enjoy the rest of the video. Have a nice day and peace out. There's one!